Hi, in this video we're going to introduce some new concepts. So degrees are a way to measure an angle. But in this video we're also going to talk about minutes and seconds. So let's go ahead and define these things. So one minute, and it's written as follows. So written to one with a little prime. So this is basically one sixtieth of a degree is 1 60th of a degree. So basically, one minute is equal to 1 60th of a degree. So it's much, much smaller than a degree. In fact, it would take 60 minutes to give us a degree. Or you could say, or 60 minutes is one degree. If you think about it, it really makes you think about time, right? So if you think of degrees as hours, then 60 minutes is an hour, and then thinking of it as time, 60 seconds is a minute. Except, except we ended up calling it degrees uh, instead of hours. And then one second, this is written in a very similar way. It's a one with two little primes like this. So this is 1 60th of a minute. 1 60th of a minute. So you could say that 1 second is equal to 1 60th of a minute, which is equal to 1 36 of a degree. This is important because we're going to use this uh, in one of the examples we do. So one second is one thirty-six hundredth <laughs> of a degree. That's very, very small. Or you could say that 60 seconds is equal to a minute. So what's written on the screen might look a, a little confusing, and I think people often have a hard time with this, but try to think of it like this. 60 seconds makes a minute, 60 minutes make a degree. So uh, just like time, right? 60 seconds make a minute, 60 minutes make an hour. Except we don't call them hours, we call them degrees. Um, just as a concrete example, let me show you um, how this can be written to actually measure an angle. So let's say that we had um, 14 degrees, 22 minutes, 37 seconds. So this is read or represents 14 degrees, 22 minutes, and 37 seconds. Okay, that's how you read this. Again, it's 14 degrees. 22 minutes, 37 seconds. So that would be an example of using um, degrees, minutes, and seconds. Let's do a simple problem where we do some conversion. So I'm gonna do a simple example here. Let's say we have um, 34 degrees, okay, 51 minutes and 35 seconds. And let's say that we want to convert this um, to degrees. So convert to degrees, convert to degrees. Some people call it decimal degrees. So degrees that um, allow decimals. Okay, so let's go ahead and work through this. And this is something that you do want to use a calculator for. So solution. By the way, many calculators can do the conversion for you, but I'm actually going to show you how to do this and show the work. You start by writing it down. So we have 34 degrees, 51 minutes, 35 seconds. And so this is equal to 34 degrees plus 51 minutes plus 35 seconds. And then so this is equal to 34 degrees plus, so the 51 minutes, if you recall, uh, each minute up here is 1 60th of a degree. Remember, it takes 60 minutes to make a degree. So this will be 51 60ths of a degree plus, and remember it takes uh, 3600 seconds to make a degree. We saw that here because uh, one 
a second is equal to one over 3600 of a degree. So it takes 3600 seconds to make an actual degree. So this is going to be 35 over 3600. So really, really small. Then what you do is you just type this all into your calculator. I actually haven't done this. I'm going to do it right now. So we have 34 plus 51 over 60 plus 35 over 3600. So this gives me 34. I'll round to three decimal places. 0 0.860 degrees. This would be the answer in decimal degrees. And you can do you can do all kinds of conversions and all kinds of problems with um, you know degrees, minutes, and seconds. You can add them up. You can convert them back and forth, etc. So and they all rely on these basic formulas. Yeah. So that's it. Hopefully you have learned something in this video. Good luck.